Mine's all blurry. <laughs> yeah, it's recording now. So mm -hmm. how are you? Good. It's yeah. uh, nice to see you. Yeah, you too. Haven't met, but n here Haven't we go. Met. Yeah, we yeah. We talked. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, how about you introduce yourself, I guess? We'll start with that. Sure. Absolutely. Uh, my name is Taylor Frost. I'm 18 years old. I do digital painting, and I specialize mostly in animals, but I do paint some people. Um, I love to use bright, expressive, vivid colors. Yeah, I've seen that. Um, I like yeah. it. Yeah, <laughs> and I like to create emotional, just so, things that are captivating, eye-catching, that you don't see normally. Yeah, I've seen I, I love the hyena you did. I was just talking the Thanks. other day about the hyena, how I like hyenas. And then I here, do too. You and the, you never see them either. No, I. Uh, where did I see it? Someone had one as a pet somewhere, some other country. Really? Oh yeah, cool. yeah. So you do those digitally, right? Yes, I what, do it digitally. What do you use to do those? Like, I use Photoshop CS6. Okay. And a Wacom Intuos tablet. That's not the monitor tablet, though, is it? No. Oh, no, okay. No, just the the plain. Uh, it was like sixty bucks. I got it five years ago. 60 bucks. Still, oh, that's a good yeah, deal. Yeah, still kicking. Yeah, have you ever tried the monitor tablets? I haven't um, because this one's been doing me so oh, yeah. well, but in the future for sure. Oh, I, I love it with uh, because uh, you can see where, where you put your pen tip. You, you can yeah. actually see where you're drawing. It took some getting used to, um, but w honestly, where do you set I, up? It, a week and it was fine. Yeah, yeah. Where do you set up your tablet? To the, to the right or left or right in front? Of your right in front, right in front of you, like your monitor right. and your keyboard. Yeah, using a immediately in front, and then exactly where I draw is exactly on the screen. That's cool. Yeah. yeah. So, so you're using a laptop or a desktop? Your laptop. Laptop. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. MacBook. So, how are you getting those nice, cool colors? Are you using uh, pretty cool layers in uh, Photoshop? Lots or? of layers. Layers yeah. are your friend when it comes to digital painting. Um. I, it really depends on what I'm painting. Um, for the most part, I just use the normal layer mode. Um, but for those really bright, um, like I can show you an elephant I did lately that I use some pretty oh, you can share all you want. colors. Yeah. And I use the vivid light layer. Um, I, I always start with the natural colors of the animals. And then I build on top, build on top until I'm satisfied. So I use like vivid light layers or overlay layers or even just normal layers and I paint on top yeah, until I'm happy. Yeah, it seems like you have a, a, a good rhythm because they all seem similar or different, but similar. Yeah. I like the red and the bright. Uh, why don't you I do have a thing for red and yellow for sure. And I'm trying to branch out, but they just work so well. <laughs> yeah, I like, I like red and yellow too. Yeah. Red, yellow, and blue. They're my it's friend. a certain yellow, not a... Me, it's like closer to the orangey yellow is what I like. Mm. Yeah. And I, I just, I need to figure out a palette for the greens and the purples and the, I don't know, stuff like that. I just haven't found one that looks super satisfying yet. So you live in Quebec, right? I actually travel a lot. Um, I am in Ontario. Okay. Part of the year with my horse. I'm a competitive equestrian. So I travel around the States and I travel around Canada going to competitions with my horse, which is part of the reason the digital painting is great because I just throw in my tablet and off I go. Yeah. Um, I'm currently in Costa Rica. My family lives in Costa Rica. So I spend a couple months of the year here. So you're um, in Costa Rica. Okay. I'm in Costa Rica right now. Because on Facebook I was seeing, it's like, okay, where's she from? And it shows that you're on there. I think it says Quebec maybe. I'm not sure. I grew up in Quebec. <laughs> okay. Uh, and then I'm currently part of the year in Ontario and part of the year in Costa Rica. So is this the first time you get on a vlog, podcast, whatever? Um, I have recently been approached by a gallery who would like to start featuring my work and selling it to art collectors. Are you um, going for it? Yeah. Um, cool. Their name is Pacific Point Fine Art. 
Pacific um, Point Fine Art. It definitely worked the look. I, they have famous artists. They, it's stunning stuff on there. And I'm very privileged to have been considered. Well, that is awesome. Did, yeah. did you did you mention you do traditional as well? Do you paint like uh, with acrylic I, or watercolor? I don't do traditional, but I do try and incorporate traditional techniques and looks into my digital paintings. Yeah, I think I think you you'd be good at watercolor. That the, would yeah. be definitely interesting. Yeah, watercolor is not very forgiving because no, <laughs> it's yeah, a lot of like oil and acrylics. It's it's not all that forgiving. So you're you're 18 years old. So uh, where 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 did you learn that to, uh, to use Photoshop? Did you learn it in school on your own? Tutorials oh, online? It's actually, quite quite a funny story. I was never interested in art as a kid. Not even in the slightest. I didn't care whatsoever. But I joined this site, and it's called Chicken Smoothie. And Chicken they have these Smoothie. Little, they have these little pets I'm write that, that you down. try and win. You try and win these pets. And I was like, you know, 10 years old, and I wanted to win these pets. And one of the ways you could win them, it was like these competitions where you could code a website, or you could write some stories, or you could paint them, draw them. And so I was like, oh, look at all these people winning all these little pets. I want to learn how to win some little pets. And that's how I started digitally drawing. Huh. And then it, I realized that, hey, this is actually great. I like this. And it's definitely not a talent thing. I mean, only in the past year have I started getting to a point where I'm like, wow, these are actually reasonably okay. Um, and that is because I started taking a lot more... YouTube, I, I'm self-taught. So I, I started looking more at YouTube. Um, I started taking some online courses from Paintable. And oh, yeah, from Paintable. Airblaze. They're pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, that has helped me a lot. And that's only happened in the last year. Oh, uh, yeah? So uh, <laughs> did you learn Paintable? Were you learning uh, your color stuff from them maybe a little bit? Because I know they focus on that a little bit in their courses. Yeah. I learned a bit of, there's this technique he uses where you set your, your, at the end, you take some colors, you set it to vivid light, you go crazy, and then you erase, and then it leaves these little splotches of color. Yeah. So I definitely took that from them, um, but then I kind of went ham with it, and I <laughs> try and picture what would someone want on a wall, because you don't necessarily take ultra realistic, you know things and put them on a wall you want color and movement and energy and light and and paint strokes and um that's what i'm trying to incorporate especially since being approached by this gallery so uh what's your plan then like you you're gonna go with the gallery uh you're doing your i can't say the word a square s squ i can't even pronounce that half the time with your horses ha say it oh uh <laughs> eventing no, a square. Uh, oh, equestrian. <laughs> yeah, there we go. It's a word I don't say very often. <laughs> <laughs> so you're doing you're doing all this. So what's your plans for the future? Are you gonna maybe dive deeper into art, or you're just gonna? Well, I'm in a really you know up and down area where I've always wanted to train and compete horses. That was always my thing, but every coach that I've talked to has always said, don't do it. Make your money somewhere else and do it as a hobby. Or you could and, do, yeah, you could do it as a hobby and do focus yeah. on your art. They say, you know, don't make it as your money-making thing. It's too hard. It, it just, And when you, my coach is an Olympian. He's gone all the way to the top. Yeah. And if he's telling me don't do it, I trust him. <laughs> so I definitely will never give it up. I love my horse. I love riding. It's something I've always had. I started when I was five. Um, but now I'm looking for other ways to make money. And I was always interested in my art being a way to make money, especially if I can start marketing to art collectors, start getting a following. Um, and ever since being approached by this gallery, it seems like an actual real possibility. So currently that's the path I'm going on. I'm also doing a web design course. Um, I try to just have my eggs in lots of baskets. What, what kind of all the skills? What kind of web design course is that? One on Udemy, actually. Oh yeah, uh, Udemy is awesome. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and it was like five dollars, and this on sale. Teaches, <laughs> on sale, regular three hundred. 
Yeah, and <laughs> this person teaches college courses in web design. Yeah. So this is a college education for five dollars. There's uh well, there's lots you can it's learn incredible. now. When so I was a kid, when I was a kid, I'm 46. So when I was a kid, we didn't have that stuff. I remember in 1997, I was learning a little bit of 3D Studio Max, and you had to do it out of a book or <laughs> over dial-up, yeah. uh, trying to watch videos over dial-up. So yeah, not fun. Not fun. Um, and I've spoken to a lot of art people because generally, at about this time in the conversation, people say, "What about art school? You want to go to art school?" Nah. Um, but I've been talking to a lot of professionals. And I have yet to have one recommend it. Have you ever listened to Gary Vanyerchuk? I haven't. Take a listen to that guy. He's going to tell you not to go to school either. Unless yeah. unless you're learning a particular skill. Like for me, I went back to college. I'm 46 years old. I'm trying to get in uh, 3D animation, modeling, and, uh, and animation. Uh, so uh, I'm going to school because I need a kick in the butt to actually finish do projects. <laughs> yeah, and do it. So... For me, so far, I, I've finished my first term. It's mostly foundation stuff. A lot of it I already know. So so yeah. starting Monday, we jump into doing uh, Maya 3D, which I'm already learning on my own, too. So I <laughs> could I could do all this on my own, but I want that extra kick in the butt. Yeah. Because the, the piece of paper at the end of the day don't matter. It's your portfolio that matters. Because I bet mm -hmm. you they didn't ask you about your education when the... the no. The gallery approached you. Couldn't care less. That's right. It's the result. It's the result. What does it look like? These people, I am their first digital artist they've ever approached. Well, they've wow. never You're... been like they are. I mean, they they sell prints of famous blue chip artists. They have originals from famous blue chip artists. But they found me on Facebook and an art group where I shared my pieces. Yeah. And I am their first digital artist. Um, they are in touch with, um, they do geekly prints. So fine art prints that are yeah, sometimes yeah. touched up with oil afterwards to make them worth more. Um, the guy who does their prints, um, he is who museums contact to restore their Renaissance paintings, like that type of guy. Um, and so that's how I'm going to get my art to collectors is through these prints so on a different topic because i just looked at my window uh what's the weather like there what's the weather like um what do you got beautiful. going on <laughs> here i can show you uh just a little peek out to out my door here well there we go guys so i'm in uh, new brunswick canada moncton or shediac area and i'm looking out the window and we're getting a little bit of a snowstorm beautiful <laughs> <laughs> So uh, you got any artwork there you want to share with us on your screen? I do. Um, is there a way that I can show it on the screen? Yes. At the very bottom, you Ooh. should see the share button. Oh, just a second. Share screen. Uh, yeah, I may have to allow you here. Allow all participants there. There you go. Sweet. Do you mind if I just go run and grab my uh, charger quick? Oh, go for it. I'll be right back. I'm at 5%. I obviously didn't plan for this properly. <laughs> So there you go, guys. You don't need to be, uh, I don't know, anyone can do art. You just got to put your mind to it and just do it. Yeah, it's kind of weird talking to myself on the uh, camera. <laughs> All right. She's back. I'm back. Ugh. Okay. Let's do it. I can share my screen and find some artwork for you guys. Mm, they're asking all these questions. Okay. Here is. So, DeviantArt. You can always, yeah, you can edit some of the. <laughs> in between but this is my page on deviant art um actually if you can yeah see i it. did i did go there and go take a look that's right yeah so i have instagram facebook but deviant art i really appreciate it just it has everything in one place in a professional looking way 
Um, yeah, they changed it. I used it a few years ago. It was more of a brown tan background color and stuff. Yeah, but no, I, I really appreciate it. I noticed so we there. Can go through. This is a piece I did yesterday. Yesterday, wow, that's nice. Yes. Um. So again, I can show you some of my use of color and bright. I'm trying to get a realistic style without realistic colors. Yeah, I get it. Something bright and engaging, but still detailed and, and looks like an elephant. You know what I mean? So yeah. I did that one. I've also done... Um, that was a close-up elephant eye. I was experimenting with colors. Yeah. Um, I then took that palette and did a full piece with it. Let's see what else we got. Uh, we got uh, a cute little Amour leopard looking up at the sky. I like the <laughs> background, too. You just, Thank you. You just randomly do that? <laughs> Pretty much. I'm yeah. like, cool, what color? Sweet, it works. Let's do it. <laughs> well, the, the colors go together, that's for sure. Yeah. Um, this is a lion I did the other day. This was a more of a realism study, and I tried to experiment with different colors, but it didn't work because I wanted the main focus to be the lion, and I wanted this golden glowing lion, and whenever I used bright colors in the background, totally took away from it. So this is more of a oil painting, less colorful <laughs> version of the stuff I do. Well, I, I like this one, too. So far, I like all your stuff, so it's all good. <laughs> um, let's get this one. This one is one of my most um, eye-catching, I think. It's a, a cheetah with some funky funky colors. I just went wild with this one. Almost looks like you have them running in water. Uh, yeah, yeah, I did. I wanted an impressionistic, water, fiery type thing. This is was a turning point in my art where I started experimenting with more colors and realism, um, which I had so much fun with. So, so do you have any, what you, you would consider bad art up there that that's not your best to show your Definitely. improvement? Definitely some art that I'm just like, Egh. but I did ask some of my followers, should I keep it up? Because I, think I would you like should. to get rid of it. And they all said, keep it up. Cause we like to see your journey. Yeah, that's what a lot of people like that. That's, yeah. Yeah. We like to see your journey and how you evolved and learned and different techniques. So I do still have it up if anyone wants to take a look at my past. <laughs> yeah, your past. You're so old my and all. My past. <laughs> 18 years old. My daughter's 17. Wow. Yeah, this is um, one, again, that it's all experimenting at this stage. Just trying different things. So this was a more painterly piece that I did, m working more on emotion and color. Um, and let's do let's do one more cute little lion. <laughs> I want to I want you to show the hyena. Oh sure, it was just here. Let me get the hyena for you. I try and um, I'm doing this series right now on misunderstood animals, in which you know when you think male lion you think of the big roaring aggressive yeah creature that's how they're displayed in a lot of media um so i'm trying to just flip it on its head and i did that with the hyena too when you think a hyena media portrays them as these slobbering beasts you know in the shadows waiting to steal meals but they're really complex creatures with crazy social hierarchy and amazing like hunting strategies and they just get a bad rap yeah I, lo I love the colors you get going on in that that's that's pretty cool i like that it's not i'm too, so glad you like it some of it's saturated but not too saturated it's mm -hmm. I, I like it again you know realistic ish colors but i like to add to them yeah yeah this is um this is actually the piece the gallery found me with and it's not even one of my favorites so um that one's currently available um, and the others will soon be available for purchase. Okay, so so they're going to display this on their website and sell it, and you yes. you pretty much get a percentage of whatever sells. So they are going to be holding exhibitions and galleries okay. as soon as COVID restrictions allow, 
um, and they are going to display my art next to these blue chip big guys. Yeah. So basically, the art collectors are going to come for the blue chips, and then they're going to see mine, and hopefully that begins something. Um, and they will display it on their site. Uh, I already have one up, and when it sells, they get 30%, and then I get the rest. Well, that's not bad. It's not bad compared to others. And all you got to uh, do is sit back and wait. So, yep, pretty much. Basically, hmm. and they want to market me, right? So they're going yeah. to be actively marketing because they do make a commission from it. And so many things are going digital now, so it's it's good that they're stepping up and noticing yeah. uh, people. Digital artists are just as good a uh, artist as the the guys that go For traditional. Sure. Yeah, uh, I mean, especially with all these avail available like printing services, where the these prints are stunning, hey, they're beautiful, get, and you can touch them up with traditional media if you'd like. You can you can have the stuff printed on a t shirt. Exactly. Yeah. Um. There's soon um this Pacific Point Fine Art. They also do wine. So soon they will be putting some of my artwork on wine labels as well to start getting people interested huh. in seeing my work. Um, you can see, let me get, you can see a bit of the store here. I will open it up in another tab just so uh, anyone listening or viewing can so, take a look at their shop. Cause so what's your parents think of all of this? They're pretty excited. I mean, skeptical but excited. It's not real yeah. till it's real. Yeah, it's good to be skeptical too. That that's fine too. Yeah. But uh, open mind is good. Yeah. So there's no real loss. You're you're creating art, and you're going to give this a whirl. Exactly. I mean, eighteen is kind of a an important part of my life to just be trying things and seeing what I can do. Well, better than some people your age. A lot of people your age just waste those years away until they're in their twenties yeah. before they decide they want to do something. Yeah, and so I'm I'm actively trying to figure out my future. I well, mean, as long as you're still having fun, I, I'm still having fun. Okay, that's for sure. Um, but yeah, so this is this is their website. It's definitely worth a look. Uh, they have some beautiful art pieces from all kinds of artists. And you say yours is going to be available up there soon? I have one available, and the others will soon be published. Okay. <laughs> so do you, so you just use Photoshop? Are you using anything else at all? or No, just Photoshop CS6 down here. Okay, You can cool. see a whole bunch of... <laughs> I use, you know, 100% free-to-use um, paintings and pictures. What brush do you use? I <laughs> have got... I'm joking, many. by the way, because uh, uh, it's, it doesn't really matter what brush you use as long as you get the job done. Yeah. But I do have far too many. <laughs> I mostly use chalky <laughs> brushes, pastel brushes, and uh, soft textured brushes. Yeah, that's kind of what I use too. Unless I'm doing line work and then I use a nice solid. Yeah, yeah. I've completely gone away from that. I had no lines for me. Way too hard. <laughs> what do you mean way too hard? I think way that, too that, hard. I think you that'd have to be, be easier. Perfectionist, no, it didn't work for me. <laughs> oh, yeah, it, and it is harder on uh, the tablet like you have, like a monitor tablet. It's easier to get your nice straight lines, but for painting, yeah, yeah. And my style uh, evolved away from them anyway, so yeah, yeah. Luckily, I can kind of get away with it. So, uh, what do you do over the the holidays? Anything exciting? Not really, just <laughs> in Costa Rica. So I guess that's exciting. <laughs> but what, does Santa Claus walk around down there too, or what? In a in a speedo, unfortunately. It, oh, that that'd be <laughs> uh, that'd be attractive. Yeah. With the big beard. <laughs> yeah, it was actually on Christmas Day that this gallery um, contacted me, so it was a pretty good. Oh, Christmas good Christmas present! Awesome. Yeah. So, do you have like TikTok, Instagram, or anything like that? I have Instagram. It's Frost Creative Spot. I have a Facebook page called Frost Creative. And I have my DeviantArt, which I'm under Shiverin. Shiverin. Well, why Shiverin? Came Just up curious. with it when I was like 10 and uh, still works. <laughs> well, why change it? <laughs> why change it? 
That's pretty um, cool. And then also on Pacific Point Fine Art as Taylor Frost. Any tips for people that uh, are trying to get in art or that are your age or even younger? That any kind well, of pointers for people my I, my age in general i definitely recommend don't waste these years you never know what can come of it and i recommend just chasing whatever you want because right now you can afford to fail um when it comes to art don't get stuck in the whole realism is the best type of art cycle when you're learning you know you copy from reality but when you start getting those bases start playing with light start playing with color um there's a lot more than just the browns and the grays and the whatever, you know, you can use bright saturated colors without fear. <laughs> yeah. Light is quite important. I'm working on that, that skill a lot every day. I keep learning something new when it comes to mm -hmm. lighting. Yeah. It's, it's my favorite. I well, mean, you probably noticed the glow and the, well, I love like, adding. Like adding on it. your elephant on the trunk, you see the highlights on the nose. A lot of yeah. people would, the light kind of everywhere but you actually put some nice strong highlights and yeah. that makes it pop and so it really does make or break a piece the yeah i believe so too and the light makes or breaks it what was that the eyes oh okay when yeah. you're doing the eyes of an animal or a person yeah, yeah. and the lighting it really makes or breaks a piece i mean i've tried to do pieces with uh, where the eyes just weren't working out and it doesn't work it ends up being scrapped <laughs> So, uh, are you going to create any art today? Probably. I think I'm going to go do a stag or a deer oh, or maybe a jaguar. Who knows? You're going <laughs> to hit the beach today? <laughs> maybe. <laughs> yeah, I, I won't be hitting the beach today. The beach is not very far away from here, but it's a little bit of ice <laughs> and snow there. So not I don't quite think as so. fun. No, no, not at all. Well, is there anything else you, you'd like to say on this uh any um, kind of I definitely urge people to go check out Pacific Point Fine Art and their stunning artists. Um, and I do ask, could I share the link to this podcast on Pacific Point Fine Art? Uh, oh, yeah. I'm going to put all the links on, at the bottom of the video or or if it's just audio, it'll be with wherever on Spotify. The links will be Wonderful. there. Yeah. And the yeah, link, that's great. And I'll have the links to your stuff. So make sure you, you sent it to me in email anyway, I think. Did you? Uh, yes. Yeah. Okay. So, well, I guess that'll be it then. And, Thanks. Uh, it's been great talking to you. Well, I'm impressed. I actually thought you were a little older. <laughs> no, yes. I, I'm 18, but I do have quite the baby face. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, uh, you have a great day and happy you new too. year. Happy New Year. And Thank you for this opportunity. Oh, I'll be in touch. So we'll be looking at probably having this up next week. I have to uh, freshen up on my uh, After Effects uh, talents here. Oh, good here. luck. <laughs> I used to use it. I stopped using it for a while. So now I have to, uh, yeah, relearn. Good old tutorials. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that's actually something I didn't send you. I just started a YouTube channel. So I'm oh, playing with all of those things. I've started doing time lapses of my work. Oh, yeah. Um, and, uh, yeah, it's time consuming. <laughs> Just, yeah, send me any links that you have for I your will. stuff, and I'll, I'll gladly point people to you. Yeah, you can learn a lot just so from watching once, people. Once think. I hit the million mark of all these uh, subscribers, uh, they'll be, yeah, <laughs> good that luck with that. That would be amazing. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, you, you have a great day. You too. It's been great talking to you. Yeah, you and too. I, I'm very thankful for this opportunity to get my work more out to people. Well, I'm not fam I'm not famous or anything, but I'm <laughs> this is my my second it's, recording it's for a, than nothing. <laughs> you're on my second recording. So that's that's pretty cool. All right, you have a great day. Yeah. You too. Bye. Kay. Bye bye. Bye.